Well, welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Automotive Drama. Today I got a 2016 uh, Heap Grand Cherokee. Yeah, 2016 with a 2.4. Um, I kind of want to show you how to replace the transmission mount, but I don't even know where to start. All right, well, first thing you got to do is you're going to have to take the battery out, and you're going to have to take the power distribution power distribution module out. And that sits kind of like this. This wiring harness goes right in here in the middle. And this sits on top of here. And these three screws unplug those three plugs. That's the start with. And you got one, two, three, four wires here, a wire here you have to disconnect. And then your uh, there's a clip here and a clip here. And once you do all that, you should be able to just pull that baby out. You're going to have to wiggle and play with it a little bit because it's kind of a pain in the ass. Then once you get that out, there's three, three bolts there. You see there's still two, one in there and the one I put in the bolt tray over there. Then you get to start on the battery tray, which is actually quite ridiculous. There's a bolt on that on this side there's a bolt up there in order to get to those you got to remove the wheel well now that's kind of the easy ones the fun ones are under here there's two down there right there on the frame so to get to those you got to remove the lower cover and wiggle Three eighths or a 13 millimeter swivel socket in there. And you have to move this tray because there's where the mount sits and you can't get to that one bolt. Also, there's also a mount right here and this one can stay in. It's kind of a lineup that goes on the back of this mount. Now, here's the old mount. I don't know if I can do this with two hands or not. See how loose that baby is? Let me see if I can get a good step on it. See how loose that thing is? I thought it was the torque, torque mount myself. I really did. But it wasn't. Let me step on this one. Oops. Yeah, I can't move that thing for anything. Now, those, you see those three right there? You don't have to take that bracket off. You got three E20s. You don't have an E20, and these babies are tight. You can use a 16 millimeter 12 point socket. Now you see I have it attached to a half inch adapter because I didn't have a half inch 12.16, and those are so tight I had to put it on the big gun. Um, also, the module there's a bolt there and a bolt there. Where's it at? Right there. And right there, and that kind of bolts on the battery tray. I know, it's utter, utterly ridiculous. It really is. They put more bolts in the battery tray than they did to mount those damn struts. I got a previous video on that one. And then this kind of just mounts to the side of this like that. And yeah, see, I got it unplugged. I was able to leave the ground wire on. Right there, because I just had to move it aside. I didn't even pull this thing all the way out because there's still a couple of things hooked to it. You're gonna have to undo the wiring harness. There's clips there, 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 there. All this harness in the front is on there. There's some on that battery tray, or that actually, that PDM uh, module mounting box. I guess that's what you would call that thing. I mean, this thing's a real pain in the ass. They could have made this a lot easier. Unbelievable what you had to go through to get to this mount. It really is. Um, anyways, like always, likes are nice, subscribes are better. Uh, questions, comments, feel free. Ring the bell if you want to watch more episodes. And thanks again, my friends, for tuning in. Have a good night.